Hey you guys, welcome back. So you guys really seem to enjoy my sort of style muse series, so this is gonna be my second video in that series. Basically what I'm coming to learn is that I can't really reliably dress myself. I really often look towards a lot of style muses for inspiration and sort of grab ideas from to incorporate into my own outfit using pieces that I already own. This is what I'm really trying to do a lot of this year. I'm really trying to appreciate what I have, wear what I have to its fullest potential while still honoring my own personal style. But when you're feeling sort of stuck when it comes to what to wear, I think really turning towards the people who you grab inspiration from that kind of make you go, ooh, I like that, is a really good way to just push your clothes a little further and extend the life of your closet. So I asked you guys on my YouTube community who you'd wanna see next and you gave me so many good ideas, but a name I saw pop up quite a lot is Alexa Chung and I was like, Yes. I was so excited that you guys mentioned that you wanted to see Alexa Chung. I think she is so cool. She's like the definition of British cool girl. She's so effortless, just really funny and just cool. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to recreate her style. So I'm gonna choose about five outfits from Pinterest, Instagram, and maybe some from her YouTube and recreate those outfits using things in my own closet. And I think with Alexa Chung, it's going to be a little challenging for me actually because her style is pretty cool, it's quirky, it's a little bit preppy, but she really likes to play with patterns, colors, menswear style cuts, but then adding a little bit of a feminine flair to it. And I don't know if I have a lot of things like that, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so maybe I spoke too soon because the more I dove into Alexa's style, the easier it actually got for me because I realized that it's really all in the details for her. Things are very basic and sometimes neutral, but it's just how she puts the look together that is the key. We've just got a basic button-up, blazer, jeans, black booties, and socks. Okay, so the one thing I really notice that Alexa loves is socks. They just seem to add a little bit of extra something to her looks. They make it a little quirky, kind of tomboyish a little bit, uh, so I really made sure not to overlook that detail. She loves her socks. And the rest of this outfit is fairly basic. The main element here I found was the button up that she chose to pair with everything. So instead of just having like a classic neutral white button up, the one that she wore had, I'd say a fairly strong polka dot kind of style to them. And I didn't have anything like that. So I actually had to steal it from my boyfriend's closet. But what I'm really noticing about Alexa's style is that it's very basic, but it's all about the details. It's how she buttons up her shirt. It's how she lets the collar show. It's the pattern, it's the socks. It's really easy to do, but it's just about the details. This next look is, again, here we are with the socks. I really tried with this one. This one was really tough to recreate. But here, this is something that I don't know if I would actually wear myself, but just as a tip of my hat off to Alexa, I did a sock with a strappy heel. These are from Oak and Fort. She had a very strong platform in her outfit. I don't have anything like that, so I did my best. And she had this really awesome sort of pleather raincoat style thing, so I used my actual raincoat to put this outfit together. She's got a graphic tee here, which I don't really have anything like that. I don't know if it's like Aerosmith or whatever that is. So I just used my Anina Bing one and then just a simple pair of blue jeans because that's all I had in my closet. I don't have anything sort of cropped and flared like she had. But another more wearable way to recreate this outfit I thought was just to throw on a black blazer, which I did here just to sort of make it a little bit more me, but still cool girl. So something else I really noticed about Alexa is that she really combines menswear with sort of feminine preppy style and she really loves I've seen her in this houndstooth style blazer like so much and I was so excited to bust out my own Anina Bing blazer um, and I paired it again with Jeff's button up shirt that has a little bit of the polka dot pattern. I think what Alexa does a lot is combine really interesting patterns together that you wouldn't really do otherwise and then she often does this sort of preppy kind of vibe with a loafer and in this look a simple black jean so I thought it was a pretty easy outfit to recreate and this is definitely something I would wear myself. 
Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite looks that I really tried my best to recreate. I think what she's wearing is actually a suit, but I'm just loving the sort of dad sandal vibe that she has along with this sort of power suit, oversized menswear kind of vibe. I just threw on my Everlane slides here and it's getting close to spring and summertime, so why not dress a little bit more lightly? And then I have that same blazer from the outfit from before and then my Siddiqui pants from Babaton that I wore in one of my previous outfit videos, so they came in handy here. I think this would have been really cool if it was the exact color family, like almost like a suit, but I really kind of like how tonal it turned out here. This outfit is actually inspired by a video I saw where she was in an interview with Harper's Bazaar and I just absolutely adored the style and I kind of had to come up with what I thought she was wearing. So she has this sort of, again, here we are again with patterns, menswear style shirt, but the key is a really fine or even a really loud pattern print here and then she had a moto jacket obviously I gravitated towards that and then in the video itself she did mention she was wearing a black pair of pants I had no idea what shoes she was wearing but after just sort of getting to know her style here a little bit I decided to throw on a loafer to make it a little bit more preppy with a pair of socks because from what I'm seeing, girl loves her socks. I just love that sort of tomboyish menswear kind of style that she still manages to keep really feminine looking. So this is just me making an assumption on what Alexa was wearing, but it turned out to be my favorite outfit out of this whole video. Okay, so that's it. That's my Style Muse series episode number two, doing Alexa Chung. I had a lot of fun kind of doing this. Her style is definitely different from mine, but it was kind of cool, especially toward the end, to sort of take elements from her style, like the more masculine menswear kind of pieces, prints, socks, things like that, and incorporating it into an outfit that I would actually wear myself, like this one that I did here. Leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please hit subscribe if you wanna see more. I'd love to see you back, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.